you are Kudus Mohammed or you are close to Kudus Mohammed, you can advise him on his next uh, club to join Chelsea, Brighton, and Borussia Dortmund. Where are you going to advise Kudus Mohammed to join? Because according to the transfer rumor mail, uh, which keeps churning out information here and there, Kudus is a person of interest uh, for these three clubs. So where would you advise him to go? Nothing concrete or solid has been brought to the table to Ajax for Kudus Mohammed by these three clubs, but they are interested or have shown some form of interest. Where would you be advising Kudus Mohammed? To go next thomas party's uh, transfer is also still up in the air he could still stay at arsenal or he could be leaving the Gunners this summer saudi clubs uh, no specific ones in particular are reportedly interested in him 200 million dollars is the proposed salary i for one think it could be too good to be true but crazier things have happened so i'll keep an open mind on this one would you advise party to take the money because currently he is keen on staying in europe or would you want him to stay in europe and uh, play with the big clubs there or go into saudi arabia possibly um ending his career there and earning a buttload of money where would you want him to go let me know in the comments box but today i'm going to tell you about Callum hassan odoi uh, who is set uh, to leave chelsea after his loan spell uh, with uh, Bayer leverkusen did not go according to plan in terms of him getting regular playing time and possibly uh, making it back into chelsea as a first team player or possibly by leverkusen pushing for him to stay looks like the young chelsea academy graduate is set uh, to lead the club we'll be looking at that today we're also going to talk about felix afinajan who had an interview with sadiq adam sports obama address obama addressing the issue of why there are reports the media that he has quit the national team we'll look at all that today as usual subscribe if you have not uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates we'll jump right into it and start off from the camp of callum hudson odoi a man who uh, many thought had a promising future he could still have a promising future but so far it has not gone well for him his loan stint with Bayer leverkusen did not go according to what he probably would have planned and uh, that could mean the end of the road for him at Chelsea. He could leave Stamford Bridge this summer after spending 16 years in Chelsea's books. Uh, Hudson Odoi is set to for a crunch uh, talks to resolve his club future. Early next week, the Blues Academy product has various offers away from Stamford Bridge as uh, Pochettino looks set for, for his first preseason with the club. Uh, now, Hudson Odoi broke into Chelsea senior ranks as a teenager and was started to become a first team regular. The Blues snapped the sequence of big money uh, offers uh, for Hudson Odoi from Bayern Munich, handing the youngster a lucrative five year contract in 2019. Uh, but with one year left on his deal, Chelsea are now open to selling Hudson Odoi, who recorded one goal and assist on loan at Bayer Leverkusen last season. Now, despite not yet progressing as many thought he would, the 22-year-old has piqued the interest of clubs in the Premier League and abroad. And the reports indicated that Hassan Odoi was also a target of two clubs in the Saudi Pro League. And the way Saudi clubs are jumping and bumping onto the European market, uh, some uh, European clubs and uh, pundits would not be happy. Expert Sports understands uh, that the player's future is likely to lie away from the Middle East ahead of the sit-down talks in the coming days. N'Golo Kante looks set to have kick-started an influx of Chelsea players heading to Saudi Arabia with the likes of Koulibaly and Hakim Ziyech and Eduardo Mendy set to follow. So Hudson Odoi move to possibly a Saudi club is not far-fetched with the to the three Chelsea players already on their way out of the club into the Saudi league. Ingo Locante kicked things off, uh, Khalidou Koulibaly, Edward Mendy. Uh, so it's not far fetched. These guys could still uh, snap uh, Callum Hudson Odoi up. Wow, will be quite interesting. But Hudson Odoi is a player who had a lot of promise. Unfortunately, 
it did not go according to plan well so far it hasn't gone according to plan he could still change all that it's still open for him to uh, get back on track in his career but so far it has not been great the loan spell at Bayer Leverkusen did not uh, go according to what he had planned so he is uh, in the limbo on uh, where exactly he will be playing next uh, season Chelsea probably might offload him they might keep him in this book 16 years in his books he has been it's been quite interesting to see it will be quite interesting to see uh, what happens on the front uh, for uh, the Ghana uh, man and not play for the Black Stars yet but Hudson Odoi is a potential Black Stars player where should he go next in your opinion which club do you think will suit him best let me know your thoughts in the comments box my next story has to do with Felix Afinachan who in an interview with Sadiq Adams Sports Obama uh, talked about uh, his possible uh, reason why there are rumors uh, why he is touted to have stopped uh, playing for the national team now in that interview Sadiq talked about a lot of things uh, with uh, the young man uh, season did not go according to plan for him and uh, as you know any player who begins the season uh, looks uh, to be the best top scorer as he is a striker more or less so it did not go according to plan to with Cremonese uh, and uh, he feels that his national team career as he said is on pause for the moment he has not quit the black stars he has put the national team on pause well whatever that means i hope uh, he does come back because this guy has potential hope he does get his club club form back i talked about possible reasons why and this is what he talked about with uh, sadiq adams he has paused his national career his national team career when players make statements like this we tend to read a lot into it let's let time tell us exactly what this means and what it means going forward for any player who says his national team is on pause could be up in the air so we'll see exactly what he means by that and uh, we'll see what happens in the coming days months and weeks and if he does get back on the black stars horse and decides to play for us great if he doesn't well yeah, we know what to do from there. I'm sure Chris Hilting would have options lined up. But the goal scoring position is an issue for Ghana. Uh, we need all hands on deck to solve it. I propose that Baby Jet comes in as a, a strikers coach for the strikers. Having becoming a striker requires some set of skills and some form of mentality, which probably uh, the players we have at our disposal are lacking in. Who else than the best uh, Black Star striker to teach them that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. Kalamatsu Nodoy, uh, set for crunch talks uh, for his Chelsea future. Uh, Afena Jan clears the air on why he has not played for the national team and reports of him quitting Black Stars. He says he's on pause. And the questions I asked you at the start. Thomas Partey, should he go to Saudi for that outrageous amount? If there is any truth in that. Kudus Mohammed, what about him? Uh, should he go to Brighton, Chelsea, or by Borussia Dortmund? I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. <laughs>